Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today, sorry, I'm just moving my notes. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 1 verses 27 to 33. Here's the word of God. When terror strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek my they will seek me diligently, but I will not they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and they did not choose the fear of the Lord, would have none of my counsel and despise all my reproof, therefore they shall eat and eat the fruit of their way and have their fill of their own devices. For the simple are killed by their turning away, and the complacency of fools destroys them. But whoever listens to the, me will dwell secure and will be at ease without dread of disaster. Proverbs 1, 27 to 33. Here's my poem. When one hates knowledge, when one defies wisdom and embraces the ways of the wicked, anxiety and distress are not far from their lives, it imprisons them. Because they hate knowledge and did not choose to revere the Lord, they won't have fruitful lives but will be destroyed by the ways of the world. Here's my commentary. In this book of Proverbs, Solomon continues to warn us of the consequences of not heeding the call of wisdom in our lives. He mentions the anxiety and distress will be constant visitors in those who do not heed such wise counsel. As a result of hating knowledge and not fearing the Lord, they will be left on their own foolishness and be destroyed by such rebellion against wisdom. Verse 32 points out that those who do not heed wisdom will be killed and those who are complacent will be destroyed. It sounds harsh, but it is true that the foolish will never produce any good outcome because they refuse to see the good. On the other hand, the wise will be secure and safe. Reflection. Share someone you know who defied knowledge and its outcome in their lives. I know a lot of um, people who do not know God. And if you, if, if I will just share some of the things that I see in their lives, it, it is so obvious that this following verses are actually happening in their lives. People are full of anxiety, full of distress. Um, they, because they do not know God, they don't have any security, they don't have any assurance that their lives matter. So there are people I know that doesn't care about so many things in this world because they just don't. They're just focused on their own selves. They are focused on their uh, own wants and desires and their lives are all pivoted on getting what they want. And that is the ways of the world. And the ways of the world is the opposite of God's ways because God's ways is a life of love, sacrificial, and it's not a life about being the center of the world, but it is a life about making God the center of your life. So when you do not heed the word of God and you just go on your merry ways and not uh, caring about anyone else in the world but yourself, then you're a foolish person and a foolish person will encounter anxiety, uh, anguish, distress, and disasters. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos. 
give the Word of God. If you haven't already checked over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this daily, just type on Google or YouTube search, Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.